You're listening to the Monday Market Highlights brought to you by Milford. Good morning. It's Monday the 11th of July and I'm Will from Milford. Trading was quieter last week as school holidays began in Australia and a shortened trading week in the US with the 4th of July holiday. Markets focus shifted this week from inflation to recession. Markets are now concerned that the sharp increase in interest rates by global central banks will lead to a recession in 2023. This translated to some large moves in global bond markets, where we saw a flattening in yield curves and inversion in the 2s, 10s and 510s in the US. This means that the market expects rates to rise faster in the short term to combat sticky inflation, however in turn leading to a recession. This will then cause central banks to have to cut rates sooner than previously expected, driving the long end of the yield curve down. It's clear that there is a large amount of uncertainty around this, causing large swings in markets. Domestically last week, the focus was on the July RBA meeting. Governor Lowe decided to raise interest rates by 0.5% to 1.35% in line with market expectations. There wasn't a huge amount new in the statement to move the market. However, there were a couple of points worth thinking about. Lowe mentioned the huge amount of built-up savings in the economy from COVID stimulus. However, said the RBA is unsure how consumers are likely to react in the face of higher prices and interest costs. The central bank is betting on the fact that consumers can use these pent-up savings to offset higher mortgage costs from interest rate rises, rather than being forced to sell property or face financial hardship leading to a recession. He also noted that the RBA expects to continue raising rates, but the speed and size of these increases will be driven by upcoming data releases. We wait now for Australian CPI data on the 27th of July and wage inflation data on the 17th of August for clues to the path forward. Financial markets are now pricing a cash rate of 3.1% by year end in Australia. US Federal Reserve minutes on Thursday showed that the central bank remains concerned about controlling inflation and will need to keep raising interest rates to get it under control. The FOMC noted that inflation remained high with a very tight labour market, which posed a threat that inflation could become entrenched if the public lost confidence in the central bank to raise rates quickly enough to control it. This was further reinforced by a strong jobs report on Friday night, beating expectations and showing upward revisions in wage growth, which increased pressure to tighten financial conditions rapidly. In the Fed minutes, the committee noted that they saw a 50 basis point or 75 basis point hike in July to be likely. The market is currently pricing in 70 basis point of hikes in July to take the Fed funds rate to 2.3% with a year-end rate of 3.35% priced. Stock news this week was light as many companies head into blackout period ahead of reporting season in August. Listed skincare company BWX Group were forced into a heavily discounted emergency raise last week to shore up the company's balance sheet. They raised $23.2 million at 60 cents, a 49% discount to the pre-deal price, which was to be used to repay debt that was at risk of breaching covenants. The company did recover somewhat post-deal, finishing the week at 79 cents, However, it's a huge fall from Grace for a company that was trading above $5 only a year ago. Concerns remain, however, around a put option that was part of the deal to buy Zoe Foster Blake's go-to skincare brand that creates a liability for the company potentially as large as the market cap. This week, the key focus is on the US June inflation print on Wednesday night, our time. Annual CPI is expected to rise from 8.6% to 8.8%, with month-on-month inflation ticking up to 1.1% from 1%. However, core CPI is expected to ease slightly from 6% to 5.8%. The market is now expecting we are close to peak inflation, so a strong print on Wednesday could see a sharp market reaction. In Australia, we will get the June employment numbers in what is expected to show a continuingly tight labour market. The unemployment rate is predicted to tick slightly lower to a record low of 3.8% from 3.9% previously, with the participation rate remaining elevated. In New Zealand, the RBNZ will announce their latest cash rate decision on Wednesday morning. Markets expect another 50 basis point hike to take the OCR to 2.5%. 
If they do hike by 50 basis points this month, it will be the fourth consecutive 50 basis point rate hike by the RBNZ. Also to watch in the company space this week will be TPG Telecom, where a large portion of the shares on issue will come out of escrow. On Wednesday, 64% of the company will become eligible to be sold, with this split between founder David Teo and investors Vodafone and Hutchinson. No one is sure if any of these holders will sell, however, most of the focus will be on Teo's 14% stake, as he is no longer on the board of TPG and sold a stake in December last year. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.